it's going to be the metal arm guards. All right, what are we going to go with some string? Lots and lots of string. Big old piles of string. I do have a little bit of string, but I don't have any ropes yet for huge, ridiculous piles of string. Uh, and there weren't that many apartments, so what string I've got is all I've got. Hmm. Not. Oh, that's right. I can do the. Um, I can do these. Rags are no problem. I can do two of these total. That'll actually get me quite a lot closer. So we actually might make it. Or I can do this one. One long string and ten. I could do four of these. Use up all four of my string. Oh, it's going to take those anyway. Ah, uh, so much string. Nothing made of leather, please. Ooh, do I do my hiking backpack? Actually, the hiking backpack all by itself might level me up. A three-hour recipe. Um, 37 of my 50 patches. Hmm. 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 Were there any other apartments? I think there was... Was there one more? It's the only place to get easy string is from the uh, ripping down the curtains in the apartments. I... I, I, I don't... Go take a look. It's actually... It's going to make a pretty important difference. I, I don't want to use up all my string on one, one activity. Alright, no apartments. No apartments. Actually, I can get string taken apart. Disassembling sheets? What about blankets? No. Am I thinking of the wrong thing? And there, it's the short, easy level. And that's the finale. Hmm. Well, while we're here, let's go uh, verify I didn't miss a card. No card in sight. No card in sight. Card in sight. Well, all right. must have been um, either not there or destroyed. <laughs> One or the other. Alright, so I have a limited amount of string. I gotta be careful to portion out. say when I take apart sheets and I get thread and rags. It's thread I was thinking of, not string. Alright. Um,
think I'm going to have to do the backpack. It's only going to take one. It's a three hour build. It's going to give me the most XP by far. It's going to burn up a ton of my leather, which doesn't make me super happy. It's another thing I don't have enough in the dun or in the uh, the lab here. Alright, uh, let's. I think I might wait until I wake up so we have max, uh, max focus. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so we've got uh, disinfectants and stuff on. Let's go ahead and throw on the headgear. And let's turn off the flashlight. Alright, see how long this takes. <laughs> Last time I took a break when we tried to go to sleep because it was so slow to process. Yeah, hiking backpack's what I usually go for. It's just that I've already got a... Um, I got one from right below that level, so the benefit's fairly minimal. And it's going to burn a big old chunk of my currently available leather. I do have some more I can make. I brought back some boots I haven't chopped yet. I brought back a couple other items I need to clean up before I can chop. So I think I'll still have enough. Hopefully. Um, as soon as we hit five tailoring, I can start looking at the uh, survivor gear. See if I've actually managed to accumulate things. The thing I can think of that I don't have is a raincoat. I don't think I picked a raincoat up anywhere. I'm not usually crafting survivor gear in the first lab that I start in. <laughs> Not too often that I've got that uh, option or opportunity. So we'll see what we got option. <clears throat> Gonna be a tight squeeze between the raw materials I've got and what I want to accomplish and my food supply. I think I'm gonna get forced out of here before I've gotten my food supply. And the moon indicator is showing me I don't think I'm gonna get my, my wish if I spend another couple of days in here, I might have to poke my nose above ground. Current health value, minus six. That's fine. That's close enough. Look at that. We're up to 30 torso health. <laughs> God, it's so slow. Again, where were, we, where were we at? 23, 24, 25? I, I don't remember, but oh man. It's so bad. <laughs> All right, 110 focus. That's the opportunity. Hiking backpack time. So hiking backpack is even up skill level. We got 100 and plus focus, and I'll have 13 leather left when we're done, and three of my four long strings. So hopefully we level up off of this. If not, I better get real damn close. <clears throat> Yeah, the problem being with Z-Levels on, if I poke my head upstairs and there's a horde that spots me, they're all going to come crashing down into the lab and destroying the house. And <laughs> it can get pretty ugly pretty quick, especially when they're all upgraded zombies. I could uh, very quickly and easily get overwhelmed and killed upstairs without uh, Avenger bonus. Hey, tailoring five. So we did make it. Cool. All right, that's what I was really hoping for. So we got the backpack done. Let's go ahead and ditch my travel pack right after I put on my hiking backpack. All right, welcome back, old friend. All right. Let's grab something to eat. A couple of pistachios, toast them, and I'm at one more chocolate bar. All right, have a couple of drinks. Still got good focus. And uh, now I need to work on fab again. I need to get, I think, one more level of fab. I believe I need six fab. Yeah, I don't have the survivor suit. One more level. So let's get that done before anything else happens. If I can get this lady into uh some light survivor gear i mean obviously i'd prefer to do regular survivor gear but i won't have the uh skill to do that unless i well now if i tried to make another hiking backpack i don't have a leather for it first and it would be a level below now so i wouldn't get as much xp so 
I might check the uh, the list, but I just need tons and tons of leather when you hit uh, four, five, and six in tailoring. Without just big old stacks of leather, it's really hard to find recipes that you can grind your crafting or your tailoring skill up with. <laughs> All right, 1.20 a.m. I might have to peek outside and see if we've got a vision bonus. I'll take advantage of it if we do. All right, I want to stop that now and suit. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, we do have it. Light Survivor suit. So, oh, yeah, I never did find a single thing of duct tape. Ah, I forgot about the duct tape. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't believe we don't have duct tape. I don't have the recipe. I can do super glue, but I can't do duct tape. God dang it. <laughs> it's always something. All right. Well, we're barred from that plan because of the, uh, the lack of the duct tape. Mm-hmm. True. I might actually have it. I'll have to check my recipes. I've got cooking books. I might be able to get there if we have the recipes. Uh, chemical reference. You got duct tape. Don't think that one has duct tape. No. Um, definitely not Smythe. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I have duct tape. Possible it's auto learned. I can't remember. I, I don't think it is. So I can get cooking to four. I want to say it's not auto learned. If if it is, I might be able to do it. Can I do the raincoat? Do a raincoat. Also requires duct tape and plastic bags. And plastic bags of four. Uh, how many plastic bags do I have around? I got enough. I could. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got multiples of some of those. So yeah, we can get the plastic bags. So it's just the duct tape again. Not auto learned. Yeah. All right. My memory was telling me it wasn't auto learned, so. <laughs> yeah, we came up with a surprisingly, um, like I said, small list of books. So, we're not going to have any duct tape. There's no duct tape in the entire place, and there's no books that will give me duct tape. So, we're, we're, we are duct tapeless, <laughs> unfortunately. So that's a big hitch in the uh, the plan. I'm not going to be able to get anything built with duct tape. So no survivor gear for me. And I'm not really willing to go to some other intermediates. Which is going to be a problem. Alright. I got lots of carry capacity between the travel pack. It would be a very much a weight problem if I was trying to uh, haul stuff out of here. So that's not going to be an option either. How the hell am I going to do this? I think I'm going to be forced to go upstairs. And uh, take a look around. So, let's have some pistachios free up one of those bags. And a couple of multi books. Alright, peckish and slate. Hydrated. Alright. Yeah, let's pop upstairs. 1.30 a.m. I don't know if it's clear or not. Um, get the gun out. Go see how bad it is. All right, so if I have to pull a crowd down in the basement here with me, I got nothing that's really going to help. No goo pits, no teleporters, no dissectors. Peek. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> that's not a good start. I got no walls. <laughs> huh. 
So, it is clear. <laughs> I'm under the roof at the moment, I believe. Yeah, that's, that's the roof. That's all the vision range I get. That's not going to be good. That's my normal. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's my normal vision range. So we're not getting a moon bonus, unfortunately. That's pretty bad. Where are we? Alright, so we're starting here. That's not too bad, because I could just peel off into the, the dark here and work my way down this way instead, temporarily. In the evac shelter. And we've got another radio tower out here. We're just surrounded by evac shelters. <laughs> evac, evac, evac. Is that a strange temple? Strange temple. Oh, an LMOE shelter as well. That's what I wish was over on my side of town, but um, we might go there anyway if I come around. Because um, there's a hunting store right there. That's one of my main top priorities is right there, that hunting store. They've, they've been generous in putting it right on the outside edge. And then there's another hunting store right up here. That one would be a little tougher. Right on Main Street. Right in the middle of town. That's a um, abandoned shopping plaza. Unless something's changed, it's nothing in there. I've, I've never seen anything in it that's of any use. And I don't, I'm not even sure it has zombies attached to it, though. So. Uh, acid ants down there? Really? Where? Oh yeah, oh crap. I got acid ants right in the middle of town. Well, that's not friendly. That's not even a little bit friendly. Hmm. That'll be a bit of a mess. And make uh, running around in the dark a nightmare. Because ants will definitely be spread this far. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't even notice the acid ants. <laughs> that spoils this whole damn town. They would, but they're, unless I have vision, they're super dangerous. Especially at low hit points like I have. I'm far enough away from them currently that I don't think I'll have to deal with them up here, but um, having it buried right in the middle of town like that is... I mean, the whole town is going to be saturated with the ants. Problem being, no activity is occurring until my reality bubble intersects. So they're just uh, sitting over there in stasis waiting for me to come over there. Otherwise, they'd be dying right now. All the zombies would eventually kill them all. So yeah, that's not a good find. Thanks for ruining my evening by pointing out the acid ants. <laughs> um, acid ants can be helpful. It just kind of depends on the circumstances. I've, I've a lot of times been able to take advantage of them, especially in cities. Um, you just got to be really careful in your movement and take advantage of the fact that they're animals. So they don't break windows, they don't break vehicles, they don't uh, break doors. So if you're super cautious about uh, peeking out windows and so on before you open the door or the window and moving around, they're not super aggressive. The uh, soldiers are the only ones that are somewhat aggressive. So you can usually skirt your way around them and pick up a lot of free loot. Especially in the early game. But again, it, it depends a lot on the circumstances. So, they're fun to deal with. I don't, I don't like turning them off when I don't have to specifically. If I do my super super city runs, mega city runs, I contemplate turning them off because they're they're just super annoying to deal with in the mega cities. But, um, yeah, I gotta think about this. So, we might, like I said, have a clean run just out the back here. If there's nobody back here. I, I don't even want to imagine what's in the in the mansion with the upgrade, the evolution time I've got. I was really hoping to get to, upgraded to survivor gear before I had to roam around upstairs because uh, it's going to be so bad with no movement abilities and low vision range. It's going to be so hard for me to keep this person alive upstairs. We've been in this area for a couple of days now, and uh, Z-Levels have been on, so all these things have been uh, active above us, so I have no idea what this area is going to look like. Let's step back in the building here. Corpses. Corpses. Oh, it burnt. It burnt. Really? 
What would have set it on fire? I'm always curious about how fires get started when the player's not involved. There's not too many different ways it can happen. But that also means all the gear is burnt up. <laughs> burnt shocker zombie corpse. Hot. <laughs> Hot shock. Look out. <laughs> Hopefully that means most of the... Uh, nope, local skeleton already. I was, was going to say, hopefully that means everything here in locally is dead. Oh, nice. Hey, my dodge skill went up. <laughs> Look. I'm uh, I'm I'm training my dodge skill by dodging and trying to dodge goo. <laughs> I have a video on that. Let's see. Eh, I should tell that off real fast. If I open up with gunfire, I think I'll be in big trouble. See if these guys are willing to come downstairs with me. We weren't able to entice anything to come downstairs. Hey, finally, something came downstairs. God damn it. <laughs> Still get hit. Whoa, dude. He's doing that shuffle damn move again. I hate that. Oh, it was a skull zombie. No wonder he wasn't taking that much damage. Well, that answers that. Yeah, that wasn't, um, that wasn't helpful. Burn the house next door. Is there a house next door? <laughs> we didn't burn it. Any food? Forest honey. Not quite what I need. Still no pot or pan. Well, it sort of looks burnt. It's kind of kind of half burnt. It looks like it's kind of weird. Um, again, I could go gather up all these nails and make a million um, nail board traps to lead zombies over. It's harder to do without. Some kind of uh, maneuverability bonus. String! A guitar! Poncho. detergents. So not much else in this house except for the string from the windows that are mostly knocked out. Oop, MP3 player. Take that. This place just... This one's... I don't know if... This one's not burned, I don't think. It's just weird the way it looks with um, all the damage. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> what am I looking at here? What is this? Mound of dirt. Pavement. Mound of dirt. Is this what I was hearing earlier? Is this... um? Somebody let loose the, uh, the mole rat? He was digging around in here. 
Ooh, bandage and morphine. This was the ambulance that was getting knocked around the whole time. That is a lot of random raw materials. Here's the more, the more space. On more space north? <laughs> there it is. Ah, lots of random raw materials. That is a well-shredded ambulance right there. Hmm. So I want to turn the flashlight. Really? <laughs> All the nearby houses are going to be completely shredded? Phaser with no battery. Radio that has a battery. Game system. can't tell if this stuff has been burnt partially or knocked down. It's weird looking. Still no sign of any cooking implements. Alright, leather jacket. That'll help with my leather supply. Ah, look at all that copper wire laying around. That's kind of weird. What got destroyed that left that much copper wire? That's another house explored. All right. Hmm. Filthy leather backpack in perfect condition. Um, we'll grab the laptop. In case we get an opportunity. Whoa! Hey there, dissolute devourer. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Uh, let's leave you. This way. Now back and around. Some people in my house. Ah, that's the boomer that got me earlier. Come on downstairs, boomer. No. <laughs> you bum. <laughs> Wanted to move the dissolute devourer, but new location already has zombie cop. Well, that's that's a sad story. Yeah, I expected more roof collapses if it was hulks and stuff. That's what kind of surprising me. All right, flashlight on. We had one more guy come down. Oops. Ah! <laughs> this loot gonna follow me? Nope. I don't know. It's weird the way they're behaving with the stairs all of a sudden.
Hmm, I'm still torn. Try to get out of here, or do I keep working on stuff? Get the forge and the anvil and the crucible and all that done. Not finding any uh, any any food that's going to help me stay down here any longer. Yeah, the dev I, I somebody told me I think the devourer is the decayed crawlers. It's either decayed or crawlers. I forget which, but it's an upgrade. Several of them get all melded together into one monstrous form. It's sitting right there waiting for me. Just not willing to come downstairs, <laughs> which is really annoying. All right, we, we had a peek around. Let's drop back downstairs and uh, dump off what we picked up. Still no duct tape or recipe thereof. Got some strings, more batteries, a lot of copper. And don't care about most of this stuff. And the leather jacket, which I'll tear apart here. MP3 player and a game system to keep our, our happiness up at least. And we got the guitar also. So the MP3 player won't be necessary. We'll have to do books for that. We can, um, from our guitar. And play our game system. More Minesweeper! <laughs> That's what I like. I like losing on the first try. Alright, um... So, focus will start coming back up. Drop the uh, honey, butcher the jacket for some more leather patches. A lot harder to kill those guys when I can't get them to come downstairs with me. I don't know if it's, I, I don't know why there's a dif difference. Sometimes last challenge we had a whole stream of them follow me down. This time I can't get them to do it. Uh, all right. Let me look through the other ones. So, forge. Really? All duct tape. Duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. And no metal sawing. We're, we're, we're stymied by a few different things. I can't quite do the things I want to do. Hmm. I haven't found any multi-tools, which would at least give me the, I think, metal cutting one, which would let me get through past that particular roadblock. Already got soldering iron. Yeah, it's pretty much all about the duct tape. Can't do any of that without the forges and such. Do charcoal if I can get away with it. Haven't found an acetylene. God, I don't want to run them around up, up top without having some stuff. Hey, I can do the battery mods now. Mechanics 2, which gets me the minimal things I need to rip out um, seat belts for rope and all that. As soon as I find a vehicle that's not totally shredded, 
I don't technically need this right now. Yeah, none, none of this is going to get me past the problems I'm having right now. I think I'm going to have to resign myself to um, scuttling around up top, and it's going to get me killed. It is definitely going to get me killed. As soon as a predator pops on me, I won't be able to outrun it. And with all the buildings trash nearby, I won't have doors I can put between me and it. I don't have speed bonus. Ah, man, I hate to make it this far in this, this kind of a setup and then die up top. But I can't think of a... A good alternative. It doesn't really help me to move up to the evac shelter. There's no food there either. Short of um, going into the woods to get pine nuts. I've got all the water I need down here. I can I'm safe down here from anything coming to get me while I do my other things. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to have to uh, inch my way around up top. Pray I find a working vehicle or duct tape. Or the recipe for duct tape. It's summer now. <laughs> we're, we're in the summer. We started uh, 90 days in so that I'd have full evolution. So it's already day three of summer. We started on uh, day 90 of spring. So we're on day three or four. I'm not honestly really worried about starving. That that never happens, but uh, I, I don't think I've ever starved to death uh, in the last couple of years. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to poke around up top. Well, the Heelys have a possible usefulness. You can activate them to gain a bit of a speed benefit, and then you can activate them again to put them away. So let's take a look at the Heelys. What else do I have that's filthy that I need to clean up? Anything I need to use immediately? Damaged gas mask is no. Uh, I don't really need any of this stuff, so I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll clean up the Heelys, though. Let's do... I can't do a wash kit because I don't... Oh, I can do it with the... Uh... Yeah, alright. Do... Oops. Washboard. Well, I'm not sure why they differentiate these. <laughs> What's the point? Why bother having two of these now? I mean, <laughs> Fab One Survival Zero. What, what, what's the point here? I mean, now that it, when it was sponge only, I can understand having a separate recipes. But come on, <laughs> one second to craft, and all you need is a rag to go with your washboard that is made out of a plank. Why bother having both? Let's get rid of this one and just go straight to the kit. <laughs> just say you need a plank and a rag and you make a washing kit. There you go. Maybe it's only there. Maybe somebody's already planning on doing that and it's just there for current uh, keeping things from uh, having issues. Oops. Come here, wash kit. Alright, activate wash kit. Clean the Heelys. Use the soap bar. Alright, so here's what happens with Healy. If we take off our combat boots and we wear the Healy's, we're gonna lose a lot of yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of protection. So six nine is gonna drop to two two, so our feet are gonna be a lot more susceptible to damage. And they're gonna be more susceptible to getting damaged themselves and destroyed. So my movement speed right now is one oh five. If I go orthogonally movement, one oh five. Diagonal's different, of course, but uh hundred and five. If I activate my Heelys, which are here, you pop the wheels out, it has dropped to 90. So we've gained a 15 movement point advantage by putting the Heelys on. Now the negative is if I get hit while I have these, uh, the wheels out, then just like roller skates or roller blades, I get knocked on my ass. So, <laughs> does it take time to activate and deactivate? Where are we at? 212 and 49. If I say activate, yeah, it takes one round of action. No, that was six seconds. That's six rounds. It takes six rounds to pop them in and out. So that's uh that's quite a bit. Uh that's not something you can do when you've got a predator breathing on you, so 
So the 15 point advantage, I, 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 <laughs> uh, if I had a vision advantage to go with it, I would consider it, but things are going to be able to get right up on top of me before I can, uh, before I know there's a danger and be able to deactivate them. So I don't think I can, I can afford to do it. So had I better vision options, maybe, or if I'm willing to run around See, you got to realize, even though I'm only a couple of days in, I'm dealing with all of the evolved zombies. So there's lots of stuff with ranged damage that can take me out. Um, so it's not like when you start a normal game and no almost nothing except shock zombies can possibly hit you from range. In this one, I can get tagged all over the place. So I've got predators that can jump on me, corrosive zombies spitting at me, sniper acid zombies shooting me, <laughs> just all sorts of stuff. So I got to be really, really cautious more, much more so than, uh, than other early playthroughs you might've seen. So I'm going to say no to the Heelys for now. I, I just don't think I can, I can afford to do it. So we'll stick the combat boots. I think, I think, I think I need to stick down here and get some more healing on my torso. That 31 torso is scaring the crap out of me. Even though it's going to burn up some of my food, I think I'm going to, I'm going to do some more reading. We'll uh, finish off some of these early books and um, get some healing done. We'll spend a day or two down here doing that. So let's get the early easy stuff done first. Let's finish mechanics to three. Uh, guitar is playing. I did that. I've got those bonuses. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get that going. Still can't stand how slow it is to process. This should just be speeding by and be done in like five seconds of real world time. But no, I'm going to sit here for a minute of real world time. Alright, mechanics is done. Over to uh Damn it. Throw some more new bandages on the important parts. And I gotta start rationing my antiseptic. Probably out of one more boiled bandage. Um, right there. Yeah, I don't know if I would agree on letting Survivor Healy's in either. <laughs> I think the uh, functionality is covered in other items. Melding too many benefits onto it would probably be a bit much. Alright, one more. <clears throat> I really, really hope this person never has to go to melee. I guess I should look at what I can craft now. We've got some uh, fab. Still no strength, so it's still going to be ugly. Do we go... Do we go spear route? A bunch of rebar down in the finale room. I could go grab some rebar and make a... Uh, what? Sharpen rebar? What's the next one up? Pipe spear is what I'm thinking of. I don't think you need metal working for pipe spear. Look. Uh, 
Snipe spear does take it. All right, never mind. What am I thinking? Yeah, must be pipes where I'm thinking of. long stick requirement. Not tired yet. Finish that book. Let's go to Of course we already made rifles three and marksmanship three. We're gonna keep firing away with the rifle for the most part. Uh you have a handgun, but I don't know that it's worth it. I'm not gonna do the shotguns, I'm not gonna do the launchers. Piercing weapons would probably be the best choice, but everything's going to be problematic. Plus, I can go get long sticks. Yeah, that sucks too. That uh, sucks. Hmm. More fab, I think. Yeah. Handguns done. We'll do handguns and then fab. <clears throat> and now we're tired. <laughs> this time when we sleep, I'll make a point of uh, checking what my health is. <laughs> 34 currently. Alright, still got the effect there. Just straight to bed. So 34 on the torso. Can we get it back to the green? Hey, look at that. <laughs> back to the green. Yeah, had I had the full moon benefit, that would have been very helpful. Fortunately, I, I the moons are the moon timing is pretty weird lately. So far we've still only gained one hit point. I am not excited about that. Mm, you don't have to have a tailor's kit to reinforce. Sewing kit will do it. Uh, 
right, we made it to 37. Negative nine. I wonder if I'm, I'm, I think next time before I sleep, I might take a hit of my, my gamma globulin to temporarily boost up my health stat. Give us a big push for uh, getting our health up. Otherwise, we're never really going to get out of here. Starve to death before I get to full health. All right, toast them and salted milk balls and we're already hydrated. All right, more of that, more of that. slap some new bandages on. No, we still got an effect going. Might get one more level of fab. I'm about to get out of here. Yeah, there's two different things being talked about. <laughs> there's just giving it the extra it extra hit point which is reinforcing versus modifying it to uh, have a layer of kevlar essentially you're just turning a light item into a normal item so a light survivor suit becomes a regular survivor suit when you line it with kevlar a little less uh, encumbrance if you go that route <clears throat> but it takes more materials to put together so it depends on which you put more of an emphasis on Excuse me. All right, Feb 7. So exciting. Not tired yet. 10 a.m. Hmm. Hunger is going to start getting pretty real, though. Let's try to do one more. It's up. I want to wake up before too much of the night goes by. <clears throat> All right, Fab Eight. Um, that doesn't really open up much, I don't think. <laughs> Hollow Cane. 
Rolling sticks. That's just layered on it. All right, I guess the last of the antiseptic I can afford to use. Um, let's go ahead and use our gamma globulin. That'll shoot our uh, hidden health stat up. Hopefully, we get a decent amount of healing tonight. All right, 38 torso. Let's see where we end up. Yeah, look at that healing. <laughs> Big difference. <clears throat> Why does everything else seem to max out at 48? My base is 58. So why am I not seeing any? Oh, there's 49. All right. We're not quite maxed yet. But you can see, huge difference with just taking the Gamma Globulin shot. I'm wondering what it says my hidden health stat is. It was, what, minus 9, I think, when we woke up last time. Gamma Globulin shots... The only effective way to give yourself a really fast hidden health stat boost. Other than that, you're pretty much relegated to the uh, Leukocyte Breeder System CBM, which is pretty, pretty hard to get a hold of and get installed if you don't start with it. Medical bots do give you the, or nurse bots give you the self-aware trait while you're standing next to them. Um, and if you activate the, I don't know if it'll let you, if you uh, come into your mutation tree and actually activate it, it'll, like right here, it'll tell you. So if I hit H right now, yeah, look at that, health value is 92. <laughs> That's why there was such a massive difference. We went from minus 9 to 92. Massive difference, but it's going to downgrade to zero really quickly. So that's why I try to save it for particular situations when I'm really, really negative or really need to do some healing. But we gained 10 hit points that time, so we tripled, more than tripled our uh, our heal rate. It got us up to a pretty respectable number. Uh, we barely made any progress with just the bandages and all the other parts. So now my, arm, now my arms are the worst off. Alright, but we got ourselves back into the green at least, and the head and torso is getting there. Alright, 1.30 a.m., so I do have some night time I can go jump around with. Go ahead and have more milk balls trash my health stat even faster. Alright, so if I'm going out and about, here's in okay shape. 
Got plenty of rounds for the gun. Should I choose to use it? Hit the game. Let's unload the flashlights. That's dead. Kit. And I don't need 30 antibiotics running around with me. All right. Um... <clears throat> Well, we're kind of stuck now, and our only option really is to go back up and start doing stuff up top, which I was really hoping to avoid. But um, we're alive. We got some good skills. Got some okay gear, but I, I, I think I'm just gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get killed pretty quick up top. I, I just see it coming. I'm wondering if it would be better if I. Pulled out of the town, set up in one of the evac shelters, and then raided the mansion with my massive amount of ammo. Far enough away from the town, the gunfire shouldn't attract anything to it. And the upgrades, I don't know. I don't know what the upgrades will look like in the mansion. So that's one option. Could just load up on gear, whatever my weight limit is, and make a few trips out of here. Try to get to uh, another spot I can use. I just don't... It's weird the way the city looks with all these collapsed buildings around me. Conversely, the fires that occurred might have killed some of the zombies nearby, and it might be lightly populated. <clears throat> I just... Makes me nervous. All right, but that's going to be it for... Ugh, that's going to be it for this evening. We've hit eight hours. That's all I got in me. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it, as always. Uh, especially that big chain of resubs we had earlier. That was fun. But um, I will be back on Wednesday to continue the Bionic Brain Challenge. And I uh, hope to see you then. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and have a good night. <laughs>